Owen checked his spool the other day. And he had he had some good news in there. He been issued a a tax cut by the government. Hmm. I wonder what wonder what he's gonna do with this tax cut. And it looks like he does too. My life be like. So what is Ricardian equivalence? Well, according to ManQ, the theory according to which forward-looking consumers fully anticipate the future taxes implied by government debt, so that government borrowing today coupled with a tax increase in the future to repay the debt has the same effect on the economy as a tax increase today. In English, this just means that tax cuts funded by debt will have to be repaid in the future through future tax increases. So in applying the model of Ricardian equivalence, we have a few assumptions that we have to make. First, we assume that people have the ability to borrow and save at fixed rates. Second, we assume that the government faces an intertemporal budget constraint. We assume people are forward-looking and rational. And finally, we assume that people care about the financial well-being of future generations. All right, so our first assumption is that um, capital markets exist. And here we have two graphs. On the left is a uh, market for loanable funds, where uh, the supply and demand of loanable funds intersect to give us an equilibrium interest rate. And this model is kind of the basis for the intertemporal budget constraint that we can see on the right. Now we're assuming that the government also faces an intertemporal budget constraint, which is a very key assumption of Ricardian equivalence. This basically means that if the government cuts taxes today, in the future, they'll have to raise taxes as long as that tax cut was financed by debt. Our next assumption is that people are forward-looking and rational, um, and that people are also able to distinguish between a tax cut that is financed by debt and one that is financed by budget cuts. And in the future, in this presentation, when we look at um, criticisms, this will be our most criticized assumption of all four. Now we rejoin Owen as he's taken his tax cut to the Highlander. Let's see what he's looking to buy. Oh, soap. Maybe maybe some shaving cream. <laughs> Owen, are you are you sure you want to spend this tax cut? Let's take a closer look at the theory now. Assuming that the government can only pay off its debt with future taxes, an increase in government debt will lead to an increase in future taxes. Because of this, an increase in government debt funding tax cuts is actually just an increase in future taxes funding tax cuts. Therefore, when consumers want to practice perfect consumption smoothing, uh, they will be at a loss if they spend their tax cut. So we can see this theory visually in these two ISLM diagrams. On the left, we have a Ricardian world. Um, and we can see that when the government cuts taxes by issuing debt, the IS curve stays where it is because there's no increase in consumption. Where on the right, um, in the non-Ricardian world, consumption increases when taxes are cut, shifting the IS curve up and increasing output. With these theories in mind, let's rejoin Owen. And it looks like his spending habits may be a clear example of Ricardian equivalence. Let's take a look at some related theories. The first one, government debt. This is pretty simple. When a government spends more than it earns via tax revenue, it must take on debt. The next one, consumption smoothings, uh, is when people try to maintain the same level of consumption throughout their lives. This means that when they earn more in the beginning of their lives, they will save so that they can spend more when they're earning less. Our third theory is the twin deficits theory. This is when a budget deficit causes a current account deficit. The logic behind this is straightforward. When the government issues a tax cut, people consume more. This consumption increases the interest rate, which increases the demand for dollars as investors want to save in the United States. This causes a trade deficit as imports, I mean exports, become relatively cheaper. If the Ricardian equivalence holds true, though, tax cuts would not increase consumption. Now let's look at the math. As you can see from the third equation down, the current account equals savings minus investment. Savings can be split up into public savings and private savings. 
This means that when private savings equals investment, or they're really close to each other, the current account equals the budget deficit. <sighs> now let's look at the empirical data. With the twin deficits, Ali Akaravki and Ilhan Ozturk found that Ricardian equivalents did not hold using ARDL, which is a mathematical technique that's way over my head. Further research was done by Roger Kelly and George Mavrotas, who were looking at the financial sector developments in 17 African countries. They found that when government spending went up, private savings also went up. This supports the recording equivalents. And as we can see from this slide, there's been a lot of research done on the topic of Ricardian equivalence, and there's been a fair share of supporting uh, research done and also opposing. Now we're going to move away from empirical evidence and into some criticisms of the theory of Ricardian equivalence, um, the first of which is consumer myopia. Um, Ricardian equivalence assumes that consumers are rational and long-sighted, and it's easy to see that consumers may not always be this way. In fact, they may most of the time be short-sighted and irrational. Um, borrowing constraints is also a common criticism of Ricardian equivalence. Um, not everyone is able to borrow and uh, save as freely as this model would need to be perfect. And um, our final criticism is that if the tax increase happens in a future generation, it's easy to be more myopic and as we can see in the United States, the United States has been in debt for over a generation. So it's harder to expect that the tax increase is going to come anytime soon. And now we get a chance to see some empirical evidence for our criticisms. My life be like...